everybody and welcome to a vlog, the vlog announcement I promised yesterday on my Facebook page. Um, yeah, this is going to be the season 6 lineup for backtracking. Um, all requested episodes by you people who don't watch my channel, but I'll be sharing the video with you in your DMs anyway when the episodes are done, so... Yeah, oh my god, finally, um, you know, got season 5 finished earlier this year. Was really happy that I got that done because... Now I can focus on this. Um, for the most part, like, backtracking for me has been, like, a mixture of requests, but a lot of it was my stuff, and I was like, you know what? A lot of people have had to put up with my bullshit, so how about I give them something back, and by give them something back, I mean ask them to give me bands to review and cover. So, here are all the bands I have. This is not going to be the exact order of the season, with the exception of the first and last episodes. Um, pretty much every episode I'm going to say in this video, minus the first and last, obviously, is going to be stuff that's in the season, but not in the exact order it's going to be in. So, here we go. And also, not only will I be saying the band's names, but I'll also be saying who requested them, so that way I'm singling them out. So, the first episode of the season will be System of a Down by my good friend Kirby, the man who basically gave me a job in CWL. Um... Yeah, the dude's a great guy, and, you know, he does really good stuff with his streaming, he's really good connected with charity, and I consider him a really good friend. I consider most, pretty much everyone here on this list to be a good friend, but, yeah, Kirby requested a system of down, so that's going to be the first episode I'm going to, I'm going to be getting out of the way, blah, blah, blah. Next is Emotionless and White by my friend Beth. Um, now, Beth, she, um, I, she gave me, like, a multiple choice, but I think I'd done a couple of them. Or I think Motionless and White was just the first one she said, and I was like, yeah, I'll do Motionless and White, so that's what I'm going to do a bit later on in the season. Uh, next is Fugazi, or Fugazi, I think it's Fugazi, I'll have to look that up later, by Raimundo, now Raimundo, uh, real name Adam, he requested four episodes, one of them is the finale, and there's a couple more I'm seeing right now that I'll get to later, but to be honest, Fugazi, Fugazi, Fuggy, is a band that I've wanted to do for a wee while now, so... When he said about doing them, I was like, sure, I'll give them a shot. You know, I like the stuff that they've done away from the band, so why not give the actual band themselves a listen? Uh, next is a two-part episode, um, Metallica, by my friend Steve, um, better known as Kyle Stevens. Um, and again, just a really cool dude. And Raimundo, by the way, lovely bloke. Beth, fantastic person. Steve, just a really good dude, you know. He requested two episodes, the next one is Ghost. Um, I don't know if, uh, well, I'll probably do Ghost before Metallica, I don't really know, uh, when, because Metallica is going to be a two-part episode, I don't know if it'll be the first one, but it'll be one I wind up doing, and it'll be a long one because they've got ten albums. Ten, and I'm not doing Lulu before anyone asks, I'm not fucking doing Lulu. No. Yeah, Steve requested Ghost and Metallica, he's one of the few people on this, in this video, to have requested more than one band, so we're gonna move on next to My Bloody Valentine, another Ray Mudger request. A band I'm not too familiar with, but... I know he's a big fan of, like, the Britpop, post-rock sort of styles, so apparently this is going to be up my wheelhouse, because I like that style in particular as well, and another band he requested as well. After that was Future Islands. Now, I listened to Future Islands' previous album and actually really enjoyed it, and I explained the reasons why I was so pleasantly surprised by it, so this is going to be another episode I'm looking forward to doing. Uh, next up, um, Sturgill Simpson by my friend Kasky, aka Michael Young. Swell bloke, love the guy, former, you know, Truthless Heroes represent True Sweet and all that. Um, yeah, so he gave me also multiple choice. I think I done one. No, I one of the requests is one I'm going to be getting to later by a different friend, which is a day to remember, but I won't say the friend yet until I get to, you know, saying that bit. And the other one was Kill Switch Engage, who have just too many albums, but I would love to do an episode of those in the future. And Sturgill Simpson was the last one. And luckily I'm only going to be doing Sturgill's first three albums because he also did an anime soundtrack and two albums that were just, like, covers of previous stuff. So I only have to do about three of his albums, which makes for a shorter and easier episode on me. Next is Slipknot by Slim Jim Jimmy, a.k.a. TJ Black, the fucking bum. Uh, yeah, he's just a really cool dude. I love gaming with him, especially. Um, it's fun to just kick his ass in WWE and UFC. <laughs> I'm only partially kidding. I mean, I do beat him almost all the time, but... He's just a really cool dude to be around. I love doing commentary with him in EFED, so... I'm going to really enjoy doing this episode as well, because bizarrely, I've never done Slipknot, and they're a band I feel like I should have done by now. But I just never did, so... Fuck it, yeah, let's give this one a go. Uh, next is Black Veil Brides by Argyle Ninja, a.k.a. Jacob Nitro slash Belle Florence. Um, 
by the, by the way, if you're wondering who these like other names are, like Bel Florent, uh, Jacob Nitro, Michael Young, and all that, those are the wrestler names of my fellow EFED friends in the CWL and associated EFED discords. So that's the reason why I figured I'd give my explanation as to why. And yeah, Black Veil Brides. Um, they're a band who get, I feel, an unnecessary amount of flack. I feel like they did improve near the end of their career, and obviously they're coming back now. They're dropping a new album out soon. And even if they do drop that, they'll still be eligible for a one part episode, so that's going to be interesting to try. Uh, next is Caravan Palace by my friend Maya, who is an adorable kitty man. Um, Caravan Palace are an electro swing band who I've only heard a few songs of, but I... I do like their style, I find it quite catchy, and also, as you'll see from a couple of later examples in this season, I'm going to be stretching my horizons a wee bit more, and Caravan Palace are a good example of that, so I want to thank my friend Maya for being amazing, and for requesting this, because I'm looking forward to doing this one. Speaking of one of those more out there examples, Wardruna, one of two bands requested by my good friend Selk, who is amazing, I love Selk, she's really, really cool. Um, yeah, so Wardruna are more of like a folk sort of bands, uh, folk metal I believe. I don't really listen to that a lot. I think the closest I've come really is Ailstorm and I wouldn't really count them as folk metal, traditionally speaking anyway, so this is going to be an interesting one to try, especially considering it's a band that don't speak really any English. I lo a lot of their, pretty much all of their album stuff and song titles are in their native Norwegian? I think they're Norwegian, so that's going to be another interesting one to try. Uh, next is Andrew WK, requested by Crimson Charlie, aka Dr. Wrestling Jr. The guy who my wrestler Conor Gates beat for the Nemesis Heavyweight Championship. Really happy about that, really glad I'm still the Heavyweight Champion. I'm probably going to lose out battle lines, but I don't care. So yeah, Doc, Cr aka Crimson Charlie, really cool bloke, lovely, funny, so naturally funny. I don't think he gets enough credit for that. Just, yeah, really nice guy, and um, really glad he requested a band like, uh, an artist like Andrew WK. Once again, an artist I feel like I should have done already, but just haven't, so once again, it's going to be a fun episode to do. Next is um, another Selk request, an artist named Dizzy Wright, who is sort of a hip-hop artist, and I've been getting more and more into rappers, a lot of my 2020 best of stuff will justify, or as you can see if you look at those albums, so... Yeah, this is going to be a good opportunity for me to get into a bit more of the old, uh, you know, spit and sick hip-hop on beats, and um, this is going to be one... I don't really know a lot about Dizzy Wright. I only really heard about them when Selk requested them, but it's going to be fun to go in completely blind because I rarely get to do that, so I'm going to enjoy doing it with Dizzy Wright, so to speak. Uh, next up is Idols by Raymundo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh crap, he requested five bands, not four. Five. <laughs> Give me doing five bands. That is literally 25% of... No, 20% of the season. Uh, yeah, Idols though. I fucking love Idols. And once again, a band I feel like I should have done sooner. They've got three albums out now. All three of those are really, really good. So it's going to be one of my not blind episodes. And I'm going to be looking forward to doing it. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Next is The Strokes by... Jack Steele, the leader of the Church of Steel, so to speak, um, also hosts the Fight Guys Wrestling podcast with Felix. We'll all share it to those who check out Fight Guys. It's a really, really cool podcast, and I would love to be a guest on it one day um, because I'm friends with Jack Steele and Felix. Well, I don't talk to Phil as much as I should, but I think they're both cool dudes, Jack Steele especially, uh, and Phil especially. They're both just cool, and The Strokes are a band who I don't know a lot about. I did review their last album, so I'm sort of used to their style and it's going to be interesting to see what else they have for me when I cover the rest of their stuff. Uh, so moving on, next is Three Days Grace by my friend Ken Warlock. Um, I don't know if that's his real name but I wouldn't put it past him. So this is another band who I feel like I should have done before and never did. So I'm going to do them because they're a band I've always wanted to do and also Warlock, nice guy, ridiculously nice guy. Uh, does, you know, doesn't get enough credit for how nice of a guy he is because he's such a good heel in the E-Feds and he's such a nice bloke in real life. So, well, in real life. I haven't met him in real life, but I'd like to because he's cool. Uh, next is Power Wolf by my friend Raka, who is the best Lynx boy. Um, Power Wolf are a band I'm very familiar with. I know their, I know of their style and the whole shtick. I've never fully listened to them. I've heard one or two songs, so... This is going to be interesting. It's also one of the two-part episodes. I mean, I've got, like... This, this is the episode listing. Two parts, two parts. 
one part, then two parts. P further proof that I don't have all these arranged yet, but it will soon. But yeah, Wolf. really looking forward to doing that one. Next is Fallout Boy by my friend Sophie. Um, I have them listed as Selena, but they changed their name to Sophie recently. So, Fallout Boy, initially, this is interesting. Sophie only wanted me to cover Fallout Boy's Save Rock and Roll album, and specifically the Young Blood Chronicles, which, because every song on that album was, re was released as a video that tells its own sort of story in a way but i did explain to her no i'm going to be doing all the fallout boys albums here and she was like oh okay so yeah then she requested them and that gives me another two-parter um three out of the four i'm going to be doing for the season uh next two requests from the same guy uh one of the few people on this list who i can say i've met in real life and he's genuinely such a cool dude my friend kempson um these are the two bands i requested we came as romans who I'm really looking forward to going over, and a day to remember, who are going to be a two-part episode, because they're dropping their new album, not this Friday, but the Friday after. And it's called You're Welcome, I believe. So, yeah, that's the last two-parter I'm going to be doing for the season. And also, Kempson, really lovely bloke. I'm really glad that I met him in school and got to know him in college as well. Uh, yeah, just really nice guy, and I'm glad he's given me a couple of bands who I... Who I like, I would say. I don't listen to mu as much We Came As Romans, but they're a band I've always wanted to give more of a fair shot, so we're going to see where that goes. Uh, next is The Longest Johns, requested by my friend Alice, who is an adorable snack. Very small, very small snack, very cool snack. Um, sort of a f indie folk band. Once again, something more outside of my jurisdiction, sort of, but... I'm going to really look forward. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the longest Jones have for me, considering I've never listened to them. So, again, blind episode. I love doing blind episodes, so we're going to see where that takes me. Uh, next, not so much a blind episode. Um, Baby Metal, requested by my friend King Ghost, aka William Black. Again, Truthless Heroes represent. Sadly, the only Truthless Hero I couldn't get in a band from in time was Alex Graves, but um, he and I share a lot of the same musical tastes anyway, so I feel like that's okay. Maybe next time. If there is a next time. Should there be? Maybe. Anyway, Baby Metal. Familiar with them? I think I've listened to one album of theirs, which I did remember liking. So, that's a plus. And I'm really looking forward to trying out Baby Metal, um, like, listening to them. Because they're a band that gets a lot of flack from the metal community. And I don't get it. Like, I've never really understood why so many people are against Baby Metal. I think they're really, really great. I love the whole thing. The fact that they can actually perform as well really backs it up, so... Fuck it. Get over it, basically. Uh, next is For Today, requested by my friend David Poutney. Another real-life friend who I met in school. Really got to know. Again, really really good bloke. Really intelligent, too. Designs games. Like, he's part of a game design company. Which is kind of fucking awesome. So, yeah, For Today. Um, a band who I tried to get into, actually, but just couldn't. And I was like, you know what, they're not on the never list. Same with Blackfellow Brides. I couldn't fully get into them, but maybe doing an episode on them will give me more of an excuse. So, yeah, I enjoy a bit of For Today. I'm going to try and enjoy them a lot more. They sort of broke up. I don't know if they're back or not. So, that's going to be a fun episode to try. And finally, the finale, Dinosaur Jr. by Raimundo. Now... Yeah, they've got enough albums for a three-part finale. And I've never heard of Dinosaur Jr., but they've been around for a fucking long time, apparently. And that's going to be quite the episode to go over. And, uh... I don't know what I'm going to get into. I think it's my first fully blind finale. Let's see. Let's go over all the other finales real quick so I can see if they're fully blind. Um, Corn for season one. I'd listened to a fair bit of Corn by that point. Meatloaf, boy, for season two, I'd listened to a fair chunk of Meatloaf by that point. Three, Eminem, Not Blind, I'd listened to a few of his albums by that point. Four, was Zebrahead. Again, Not Blind, listened to a couple of her albums by that point. Five, the most recent season, Joan Jett. I'd never listened to a full Joan Jett album, but I'd listened to a fair few of their songs. So, Dinosaur Jr., first fully blind finale. And that's going to be good. So the production, production, pre-production, I guess you could say, or post-production, or just production, slash writing, slash scripting, slash filming, will begin next week. I don't want to do it this week because I want to get another, another, another couple of episodes of Music of the Week out. And then next week I'm going to start working on the System of a Down episode. 
And obviously there's going to be um, streaming as well. Tomorrow night is going to be the Go Home Show for Heat of the Moment 3. And then this Friday is going to be the show itself. Got a couple of big plans that people are not going to see coming. I know one friend knows of one plan because I discussed it with them. But I'm not going to fully say what they are yet until the episode is posted. And until they're streamed on Twitch. Which, by the way, if you are watching me on YouTube, watch me on Twitch as well. My name on there is... Serial Killer Boy, I, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, usually around 9pm um, British Standard Time, or whatever the time is for uh, me who lives in the West Midlands. Yeah. Anyway, that'll about do it for this um, announcement slash vlog slash shameless plug. I will see you all, most likely tomorrow night, for the next episode for the Go Home Show for PBW vs. AVW, and maybe the Wednesday after um, for... Another episode of Music of the Week. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you all for your request. You're all fucking awesome. Bye bye. I can't wait to start this.